Our spotlight speaker is Dr. Jay Sordian from the Redwood Clinic, a wellness clinic in Berkeley. Dr. Jay has been a member of the Berkeley Chamber for decades and has been licensed and practicing natural medicine and acupuncture for more than 25 years. His practice integrates oriental medicine, nutrition, functional medicine, homeopathy, herbs, and hands-on manipulation to bring vitality and improved functioning to his patients. Many of his patients say that he is the most caring doctor they have been to. You may have seen him on Berkeley or Richmond Cable TV 28, speaking about depression, allergies, carpal tunnel syndrome, or other health topics. Dr. J has extensive medical background, including working as a surgical assistant when he was 18 and translating Japanese research on cancer for the National Cancer Institute in Philadelphia before moving to Berkeley in 1983. Thank you for the glowing introduction. And a special thank you to Sarah Diamond and Doug Coe for this opportunity to speak to you all. I was told that I get two hours for this presentation, but I've condensed it into an executive briefing. More than 80% of all illnesses and conditions are thought to be due to five main factors. These factors are traumas, which cause the blockage of cerebral spinal fluid, oxygen, and blood, toxic load in the body, being overweight, stress responses, and inflammation. My purpose is to help people like you achieve optimal health and vitality. Thus, at the Redwood Clinic, we not only treat individuals, but I also offer company wellness programs targeting, targeting these five factors. Information is in your personal medical file we handed out regarding these programs. The company wellness program is an integrated program with in-office risk effect risk assessment screenings, lunch and learn talks, obesity programs, ergonomic stretching programs, and cost reduction tracking. Obesity is epidemic in this country at 70 to 80 percent. Toxins in the environment are a major factor in this. On the back of the info sheet we have included Results from recent initial screenings. This shows the generally abysmal condition of Californians in spite of this being the culture of health consciousness. I also do educational talks on various health topics from a natural medicine perspective at the Lunch and Learn programs. We have included this list in the left side of the medical file we handed out as lecture notes for you. Over the past 25 plus years, I have had the great honor and privilege to help thousands of people with their illnesses, work injuries, car injuries, childhood illnesses, infertility, and others. A list of the types of issues people come to me for are listed on the back of my business card. Please take a look. In short, I work with people's bodies, their minds, and their emotions. I have always had a holistic practice. Let's do a quick survey. How many of you rely on your muscles to do your main work? Please stand up. How many of you rely on your brain in your business? Looking around, we can see this is the vast majority of people here at this talk. Well, let me tell you this. It is an uphill battle to save your brain nowadays. This is because of stress, environmental toxicity, and traumas that cause a diminished flow of blood and oxygen to vital parts of your brain. Also due to inflammation and obesity. The five factors I mentioned previously are always there trying to break us down. How many of you know someone with Alzheimer's? Raise your hand. Or how about with Parkinson's? Or MS? multiple sclerosis, or dementia? If so, please circle the box on your patient progress sheet, which is on the right-hand side of the file we handed out. Now, how many of you know what Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or MS are? 
Okay, how many of you have trouble remembering names? How many of you go into the next room for something and sometimes forget why you went? Raise your hand. Given that the brain integrates the mind and the body, what is your brain worth? Now, I'll bet you said to yourself, invaluable. Well, let me illustrate this. If you had to have a brain transplant, what would you do? Assuming availability, would you choose one of these? Or two of these? Tis better to be silent and be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. This is by Abraham Lincoln. All kidding aside, what would your life be like if you started losing your brain functions? Let me give you an example. A patient of mine, we'll call Nelson, was a wonderful multilingual man who's in his mid-60s, still supporting a family through their husband-wife family business. This great guy who had sent his whole family in for treatment in the past, comes into my office with tremors, difficulty starting walk, difficulty finding words, difficulty remembering, having a hard time showering on his own because he can't get his body to move when he wants it to. Two years ago, he underwent chemotherapy and surgery for cancer, and his current tremors happened right after that. He had noticed some difficulty with movement prior to that, but he had disregarded it. Now, he can't disregard it because it impacts all parts of his life by 80%. His work, his family life, his personal care. His plans for the future are bleak and his doctors have little to offer. He is now diagnosed also with Parkinson's. Now, it's important to understand this didn't happen overnight. Tracing his background, we see the ugly heads of stress, trauma, environmental toxins, and inflammation coming into the picture. He had lots of cavities and dental problems from age 7. He has mercury-laced amalgams. He also played with mercury in thermometers when he was a child. Mercury is neurotoxic. Neurotoxic means deadly to the nerves and brain function. He also worked from age 16 to 20 in an aluminum factory with no protective gear. Again, aluminum is neurotoxic, implicated in chronic pain and fibromyalgia. He then worked for four years in a battery company. Lead, as you know, is also neurotoxic. Then, related to his current work, he cleaned electric motors with carbon tetrachloride for five years. This is also neurotoxic and carcinogenic. He has exposure to asbestos and brake materials in the shop he works in. He also had massive IV injections of chemotherapy, of course, which kills all fast-growing and repairing cells in the body. It is neurotoxic and immunotoxic. Now, I want you to remember, I also translated Japanese research for the National Cancer Institute for five years prior to coming to California to practice acupuncture. I understand the process of cancer development. Oh, and I forgot. He was also hit by a truck in the middle of the street when he was six years old. He was in the hospital for three days. All of this had accumulated to bring him to the point where he is now. His life is falling apart. In many ways, he has lost control over his body and brain, which he has relied on for so long. He told me that he wished that he had heeded the signs long ago, before it got to this stage. This is a very common thing for people to say. His doctors have nothing much to offer him in the way of medicines. And no surgery right now. 
There is no such thing as a brain transplant. So, you're probably thinking, this can't happen to me. I live in Berkeley. Well, we are all exposed to 82 to 100,000 chemicals never before seen in humans 100 years ago. You are no different from Nelson in that respect. And he, like others with chronic and severe medical condition, has said that he regrets not doing something sooner when it first happened. So what are we doing to help him? You can see here the different organs we have to function, focus on. His brain, his liver for detoxification, his whole body. For example, using a new method to ameliorate some of the effects of trauma on the nervous system, we're using NRCT. Now, I've been giving talks on this for the past year or more, and the next one coming up is very soon. Check my website to find out when. We also use acupuncture to increase neurotransmitters, which are related to stress response, and also help address blockages in the flow of blood and oxygen to the nervous system and liver. We're using herbal and vitamin and naturopathic formulas that help the body remove heavy metal and toxic chemicals from the body. We are also reducing the inflammation in his brain. This helps his body balance neurotransmitters and reduce the degenerative process going on with the cells in his brain due to inflammation. We are making progress with him, albeit slow. Over the past three weeks, he and others are noticing some incremental changes. But this is not an overnight quick fix. However, we are hopeful that we can significantly slow, if not partly reverse, his degeneration. The key question is this. How many of you can afford to let your thinking degenerate? Do you think you would suffer like he does? How would that create difficulties in your life and for your family and relatives? So, do you think that you can go into your doctor, into Kaiser, into Altabates, or some other hospital, and ask for an evaluation of your neurotransmitters and nervous function? If so, do it right now. Don't wait, because time doesn't wait. Because the world is not getting less toxic. If you just do nothing, it is likely you will get worse. Now, what would it be like if your symptoms got worse? Like Nelson? It is time for a change. Would you like to know if there is an imbalance in your brain that will lead to degeneration of your nervous system with problems like dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, MS, chronic undiagnosed pain, dizziness, even diminished sense of hearing and smell? Well, Raise your hand if you'd like to save more than $50,000 in health care costs. Raise it. My question to you is, what are you doing on an ongoing basis to address the toxins you are storing in your fat cells? Toxins that damage the brain. Your brain, your nerves, your liver, and your immune system. If you are not doing something to address that, I urge you, at this moment, pick up the phone and call us, 510-849-1176. I'm offering each of you a chance to come in for an assessment of your health at the Redwood Clinic with a focus on your brain. Come on, folks. This is a no-brainer. Take the time now. I ask you to fill out the stress survey that you can get online and hand it in today. You can fax it over, mail it to us, or you can also fill it out online. Just go to theredwoodclinic.com and look for the online stress survey button. Also, check off the box at the bottom that says, I want a free consultation. Number two, 
fill out the NTAF form and fax it to the office prior to your appointment. Let me tell you frankly, this evaluation might end up saving you and your family tens of thousands of dollars in the long run in increased medical and long-term care costs. This consultation would cost you $450 to $1,000 in many clinics. I'm not going to charge you for it, but you will have to pay a $50 donation to reserve your appointment time with me. This $50 will go to one of three charities in this community. So, please complete the stress survey information. Check the box at the bottom of the blue survey and hand it to me before you leave today. Thank you again for listening and I look forward to helping you save your brain, and improve the quality of your life. This is Dr. Jay Sordian urging you to take the natural path to optimal health at the Redwood Clinic.